Mm. Those claps do something for me. Get me activated. Mm. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back again. I know we've been gone for a little bit. It's our fault. It's our fault. We're working through some things. Life happens. Uh, but this is the No Free Game podcast. Uh, we back, baby. We back to my right. Man, uh, George Lucas calls this man for motivation. Wow. Uh, Steven Spielberg once said, in America, you need God, Jesus, and a little bit of the Big Jew show. Keep it going. That's fucking, you're on a roll tonight, brother. And uh, um, what, what's my man, what's Q, Kubek's, uh, Kubek's first name? No, Kubek. Stanley. Stanley Kubrick. Stan, it, my man Stanley Kubrick yeah. said, when I was thinking of the shine, <laughs> I was thinking of this man. The Big Juice Show. Let's give us a clap, ladies and gentlemen. Fucking man. Thank you. That was fucking brilliant, actually. I, I'm on the spot of all these, man. Uh, if you are tuning in on YouTube, thank you. Make sure you click the subscribe button, hit the bell. Um, if you're listening on Apple Music or Apple Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, all that good stuff, thank you for tuning in. Make sure you download, give us a rating, likes, all those good stuff. Be a fucking fan. Um, to be very transparent with you guys, uh, we're definitely working on getting this a little bit more organized and on a regular schedule. Um, obviously, with me and Big Ju so started this out, uh, we didn't really know what to expect. Uh, no pun intended there, um, but uh, <laughs> it's, it's it's been a uh, yeah. But the feedback, it, it, the feedback, and everybody just pulling me to the side and, and letting me know how much this pod or how much they enjoy it, uh, how much they love our conversation, yeah. things like that. So we discuss me and Jew here, and uh, you know we'll definitely get this this content out more on a regular basis and a little bit um, easier to follow along. Um, yeah. So before we begin. Um, just uh, I don't even know how to say this. Yeah. It's it's terrible. By the time you're watching this or listening to this, I'm sure you know. Um, just R.I.P. to take off. R.I.P. Man. Um, young, just, young goat. It's fair to say that. 28 years old. Um, I didn't realize they was that young. We're gonna get into it. I just Fuck. before we begin, I just wanted to start there. Um, just rest in peace. Um. Yeah, just rest in peace and condolences to the family. But before we continue there, um, my friend, it's been a while. Yes, brother. How has your weeks, months, everything been? Oh, man. Ah, a roller coaster. Yeah. Yeah. But as you can least. see. Woo, you look. I'm enjoying hey, the man, ride. Hey, man, you, you, you look like a million fucking bucks. You know, you know what you remind me of right now? You remind me of uh, uh, my man from American Gangster. The day he went to the Tyson fight, I guess Frank Lucas. Tyson, you look like Lucas at the Tyson fight because you cocksuckers are narcs. And honestly, and but, honestly, that's hype, Frank Lucas. So you look like okay, you're, you look okay. like you're, you're you're reaching your your pinnacle. I'm I'm trying, King. I'm trying, and and it's been a roller coaster, but I'm enjoying the ride. I put it like that. Um, we actually had our first uh, no free game. Let's cut that up, and let's not okay. say we. Let's not say we. Let's not uh, say we. You're being I, modest. I, I'm not going to allow, I'm not going to. Now, anybody else, I would easily take the applause and, and appreciation. Yeah, run with and, the baton. And absolutely run with it. But uh, <laughs> due to the fact that you are my right hand man, I, I will not allow that to happen today. Um, this Great past fit. Halloween weekend, uh, my partner to the ride of me, the Big Juice Show, was, uh, as well as shout out to Rev Liquors. Um, they Held put together down. a wonderful event. Um, very not last minute, but there are definitely some changes and things that went on behind the scenes, and and these guys were able to put on um, a beautiful party, um, a great turnout, um, Did you enjoy great vibes. Had a great time. I had a great time. I had a great time seeing people. Um, a, a lot of people I haven't seen in a while. Um, yeah, yeah. no, it, it was a great time. Thank you guys for what you guys did. Um, and we're, you know, definitely have plans of doing, uh, more of those in the future. One's coming up. Another one's coming up. We're going to let y'all know, you know, but, uh, thanks for showing up and it, Hey man, isn't it odd King that when you haven't seen certain people, me, I haven't seen some motherfuckers in high school yeah. since high school. So when they pulled up to the party, I was like, Oh shit. You, you know what? You know why I figured it was going to be a good turnout more than anything. It, people, especially nowadays with, with. Everything just the price of living is just astronomical. Okay. Anytime you get people an event to go to with a lot of people that they will be familiar with, um, and that's cheap and that's in a safe spot, 
it's a no-brainer. It's something to do. Especially when we're older, right? Like, you know, when, when you're 21, 22, you want to be on the scene. Like, yes. I want to see everything new. When you get yes. older, it's like, uh, you know, I want to celebrate. I want to have fun. But yeah. I, I'm not really trying to put the hustle and bustle in. I don't want to DUI. I don't want to do we. <laughs> I'm not trying to pay uh, five grand for a table. Oh. Like Man. I would, I just want to chill with people that I, I'm, um, I, I know I can have a good time with. I trust, and and yeah, that's that's what happened. So, um, no, just again, clap up for you guys. You guys did thank a, you, just thank wonderful, you. wonderful, wonderful work there. Um. Yeah, man. So I think we can begin now. Uh, I want to just you know get the good vibes out the way first before we touch this. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, the takeoff situation. I, I think. Well, for those of you who are for some reason live under a rock, I'm sure by the time this comes out, you would have heard, um, again, take off from the Migos was murdered um, <sighs> at a bowling alley in Houston. Um, bowling alley? It was know. at a bowling alley in I Houston. It was actually a charity yet. event. Um, so oh, th- from the details fuck. that TMZ is, has released so far, it was basically a charity event going on at a bowling alley in Houston. Quavo and take off were both there. Um, during, uh, they're, you know, playing dice and different things happening. Apparently at some point during the night, there was a, a argument um, involving Quavo and another person. Um, it seemed like Quavo, from the videos and everything TMZ has been reporting, uh, it seemed like Quavo was ready to de-escalate the situation and walk away. Um, I don't know who shot first. I don't know who shot at who first, but apparently the people arguing and somebody in the Migos, uh, excuse me, the Migos camp um, started shooting off shots. One of the shots. And we don't know who uh, was first up with the shooting. Don't know who shot who first. Don't know okay. who shot at whatever first. But uh, unfortunately, from the reports, it looked like it was a friendly fire situation um, in which takeoff was unfortunately, um, yeah, murdered. So um, yeah, the first the, the first thing I thought when the news broke, um, I remember being a kid for Biggie and Pac. I remember the outpour and shock and um, fear with those murders. And we I remember, were kids, it, and we were kids, 96. we were young. Yeah, we, I, I'm what, maybe five or six years old? Yeah, but I, I remember, I may not remember the details. I remember my sister's reactions. I remember looking on TV. You know, those, those little things as a kid kind of like stick out. And I remember yeah, yeah. just the reaction, like the outpour. It was on every news channel. Like it was a big, 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 big story. And as I got older and even in today's time with, all, with the deaths that have taken place, I always felt like there was a certain level of status that you reach to as a artist, especially in hip hop, where I don't think that Biggie and Pac situation would ever happen again. Right at, at the at the height of of what, what oh they just were, just where they, they are right because people yeah. people can kind of point out triple uh, X people can kind of point out uh, Dolph and P and B but like those Biggie guys and Pac were a weren't certain Migos. level of fuck no they were the, the acclamation they had we can even Biggie was okay so he was he was slam dunking the basketball shit it was like Jordan to us at that time because it was a crossover of a cultural difference in hip hop. And, and, and was, he, at the time, was probably the biggest crossover act, yeah. period. Yeah, period. Exactly. Because it was like, this nigga got the swag, the bars, fucking, but he's talking gritty shit, but he can talk real shit. It was, it was that, that. But then now, even bigger into what Pac's character was, he was probably actually more commercial. I wouldn't even say at the time because we didn't have social media, Biggie was commercial, but Pop, because he was touching television, he was touching movies, he also had uh, social conscience uh, conscience rec- records to where it was like, okay, he cares more about just like the women and the... The, the success the scene, that comes the success. with hip-hop. Yep. So when Pac went first... Yes. Yeah, when Pac went, I actually remember, I probably because, yeah, we were, I remember Biggie more than Pac. Me too. Obviously, because we're, we're East Coast kids. We're East Coast. So when Biggie happened, I remember actually being at my godmother's crib, I think, and, and, and it was just, it was a weird feeling because because you're still a kid and then you can't really conceptualize death. You know about yeah. it. Yeah. But like, you don't fucking think about mortality at six, seven. Yeah. Where, and, and then not even that, just mortality for someone you don't personally know. Yeah. Right? It was like, wait, this dude going? And I had just found out about, like, rap. Like, like for real, for real. I had just really, because I'm six. 
So it was like, I remember DMX being the first one was like, the first song that I fucked with was Jay-Z's and Jermaine Dupri. I never go for this Ferrari and Jaguar. Oh, uh, money, money cash holes. No, money ain't a no, thing. No, I mean, money ain't a thing. Money ain't a thing. And I was like, I like this. <laughs> my parents are older, so it was just for me. It was like uh, James Brown, yeah, Michael, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, but DMX, when I saw him, it just captivated me. Uh, then a couple months later, the fucking Biggie died. So my family, my sisters, my parents, um, when they came here from Haiti, they they basically grew up in Brooklyn. Um, my oldest sister, oh, and my oldest brother, yeah, you got New York grew ties. up in Brooklyn. So Biggie was like, I remember the sadness. Wow. Of, of Biggie's passing, right? So I say all that to say, you know, as I've gotten older, I always felt like, you know, people of that stature of success, like that won't happen again. Oh. And then I see this takeoff scenario, this situation. <sighs> And this, I, I, I wanted to kind of set the stage to my first question of the night and just, where do we go from here as a people? In the sense of, when will enough be enough? Like, when, oh, like, and I, and I actually more ask this as rhetorical because, like, I don't even know where we are, like, I don't know where we are as a people, but what really bothers me, like what as really- a people, Are you saying culturally hip hop or, or black, black folk? folk? Black folk, folk hip hop, okay, I mean, okay, okay. kind of one and the same. But I think what yeah. really, really, really grinds, like just fucking irks me to my core. I see so many social media activists when it comes to <laughs> racism, yeah. when it comes Ooh. to okay. um, um, like uh, power, and, uh, institutional power, and all these things that affect black folk. I see so many people becoming uh, their third eye being open. I, mm-hmm. I see all. I see so many people ready to jump down another racist throat. ASAP, right? But you won't call out your homie. Thank you. That just robbed your, uh, another nigga Thank down the block. You. But you won't call out your homie that got the strap, bringing it to a party for what? For no reason. You not gonna call out your homie who is out here just fucking terrorizing people? Niggas are terrorists. You won't buy, You won't say two words to them. But are quick to jump at oh, because then you because then you you you're the op. But my nigga, if you in the club and I'm trying to get my my my, my Charlie Sheen on, I'm trying to be freak booty for the night, and you and this bitch on your Al Qaeda shit, you might just have to stay in the whip, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because at this age, King, and I think because we've seen it young, so for us it was very pivotal for us to have that young and then to be a thing. But I think the problem is, and we talked about this, it's crazy that you said that, King, because we we have one of, one of my favorite episodes is when we talked about, it was another passing. Was it P&B Rock or some shit? We yeah, yeah, maybe the P&B scenario. Oh, I, don't, I don't know. Since we've been doing this podcast, I don't know how many fucking condolences. Every episode, message. niggas is dying, <laughs> I don't really me. know how many condolences, like Fuck. fucking beginnings we have to do oh, at this point. Man, but, you're right. So I actually thought back when I seen that shit and... I was fucking in the gym and I, hey, wait, this not take off. This not real. And I thought back to the episode that we had because we were talking about like in our culture again. And then to think about it though, it's it's so hard for me to place. He's obviously the victim, but not the blame because I don't I don't like I don't like playing victim and I don't want to victimize another person, right? Because I I like to get down to it. But then when I think about it, are we our worst? Enemy, because then even still listening to the Migos, they got their party records and shit. But then, like in a party record, how do we so casually talk about like, nigga got the drop, my man got the whatever, fucking kill our so, op. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do we? You go from partying with the bottles and the bitches, and we casually drop a two bar line about busting somebody melon open. So here's the thing, and and this is where like. This is where I get sensitive on these things, right? Especially someone who's done music. And with all that being said, I still don't see that as an excuse for us. If you take away okay. being an artist, yeah, you got it. if you take away being an artist from black folk, what is left for us to try and achieve? In our, in our early years. That's and, and vague so, and insensitive, but keep going because I want to see where you're going with it. So when, I, when I'm I saying... I do agree with So what that. I'm saying is, is two things, right? At the end of the day, this is an art form. This is, our, this is art, right? There are painters who paint death. There are rock stars who talk about yeah. all these... Like, 
the devil this isn't, or whatever. This yeah, isn't yeah, new. Yeah, yeah. This isn't new. And, and yes, is hip hop popular? And with that, are there conversations? You know, do, do we talk about things in the streets, et cetera, et cetera? Absolutely. Right. With that being said, it's art. And if you don't even want to see it as art, fine. It's it's fucking music. It's not it's not <laughs> like 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 that's to me yeah. that's to me yeah. is saying take away anything involving violence or drugs or anything from society period. Because what's the difference between a nigga talking about shooting this shooting that and going to play Call of Duty and actually doing it in, in video game And form? I completely agree with you and I'm not even saying because you know what it sucks to have to play devil's advocate but I also have to realize like <sighs> Not saying that niggas are dumb, but I will say we are intelligent. <laughs> so let me so let me play off that because I'm not saying niggas are dumb, but we are intelligent. So for me to say that, I think we understand the scope, and then also having uh, to see certain aspects of life before a certain age, because also repetitive nature is what builds these habits. So you could fuck like Cardi B. She done went through a whole life on the other side before she got her acclamation, her money, her success, her 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 life where she is now, and I'm pretty sure she still wouldn't mind a, a, a fucking bomb ass bowl of oodles and noodles. Facts, as we would. Facts, but I think when it gets to a point, these niggas at a charity event. I'm just going off of what I read, and it, it's probably it was it was it was a, a, a it was event. a charity event. Jay Prince was hosting. Then we sprinkle some dice game. Yeah. Then we probably got some champagne. So, and, and this... With, with but, some nigga argument, no, though. But, but and, the, and and this, and this is why it bothers me. With the me. nigga this. argument, and then now imagine, but but it ain't you just doing that on the block no more, knowing niggas might... Because niggas really still shooting the block. But now you got 100, 250,000 no, on your but net. This, and this is what bothers me. This this in itself is what bothers me. Because what, what that insinuates is we can't do certain things with each other because of the fear of you're going to get murked. I'm afraid of you niggas. I like, am desperately like, afraid yo, of you and, tyrant and, and, ass and, niggas. But no, but that in itself is the, is the fucking sick part. That, is, no, no, that in no, itself here, is because you're not wrong. No, here's the thing, King. I'm not afraid of you niggas because you black. I'm afraid of you niggas. Once again, I don't know if you dumb, but we intelligent. No, that's what because because I think King, what it is is people like black people, black people. No, 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 no. Poor, impoverished, uneducated, desperate people. I don't care what you niggas look like. That is the problem when when the media makes it seem like it's a black thing. Black on black crime is fake. That's fake. I've never seen a nigga travel from Sacramento to Detroit to kill a nigga. <laughs> I've never even heard of it. <laughs> King, what have you read it? No, what he I haven't do seen a nigga travel that far. Might buy a bus ticket to go cross the zone to kill the ops. He might, but the, and, and it's relativity. But why? But that's why. Like <laughs> that's why. I was but that. Thinking, but you know. no, because yo, because why is death the first thought? Why is killing the first thought? If you can't, if if you tell if if. Because right now, being a hip-hop artist is dangerous. It's so dangerous. That's like, what I don't it, it, like. It, it is dangerous. And, and what I think this... The path that we're going down... Is it dangerous for dangerous rappers? That's what... Because Pitbull don't have these problems. Sure, but my... But my Macklemore don't no, got these problems. Sure, but my response to you is, if you take away this art form from those people, what are you leaving them with? Do you think Kendrick has these problems? No, I'm but leaving fine. these niggas no, with books. No, but 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 you're also choosing people outside of like um, Kendrick's, J. Cole's, whatever. Yeah, you are choosing people that in themselves are unique. Oh, oh, oh. right. You're saying, so you're I'm talking. I'm talking. Ab- I'm talking about the guys who maybe they don't have that uniqueness. Maybe they weren't able to get that education. They're just okay. hustlers trying to get out of their like environment. You, like once you pull so the, for my, example, Favi, once you got Favi who, who, who's turned up, or Pop Smoke, who actually was doing what, what we're talking about. That's, he moved out if that, you, that if element. You take away, okay, if you okay, tell okay, these young game. men, hey, even with this outlet where you're able to get out and feed your family, whatever, there's a chance you're still going to die and a high level chance. Why? What's the difference? Like, why would I want to be a rapper? Why don't I just want to keep selling drugs? What I, if I have the same mortality rate at this point? And maybe, and maybe I'm 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 being hypersensitive and, and it's not as bad as it seems. But my thing is, if you what's what's going to happen is 
Niggas not gonna want to do music no more. Because what's the what is the point if I'm in the same danger that I'm in trapping? What's the point? If if you're telling me I can make the same, I could probably make more money than a normal rapper. Yeah. Now, especially and now, have the same now, and right? have the same level of danger involved. Why the fuck would I go rap? Can, okay, can I say this? Can I say this once again? I feel like it's why do you want to rap? Fuck MC. Niggas ain't MCs. No, no, no people want to rap right now to get out the hood. Exactly because it's profitable. So, or they tell you it's profitable. But because of the accessibility. Of you able to, yo, we're doing this on a stand and a phone, and it looks, hey, nigga, this shit look better than 1970 something Jaws. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, it does look this better than Jaws. This shit is crazy. No That's no cap. This nigga, he talking about Steven Spielberg. <laughs> <laughs> King Spielberg. That's what, this what I'm saying. So I think because of just, like, not society, social media, and just the vast advancement of technology, right? Like, it took a special, think about this. It took a special someone to pull you in the stew. Like, I'm, I heard this story about Hove going to, to uh, Mint Bleak and not even saying that Mint is this high talented rapper, but he got his numbers and he could spit. We know Mint, like, he's a rapper. And Hove saw something in him. And he had went to the crib and our, the story was that he was laid up with a joint. His mom's like, yeah, he in a room with a joint. He went in the room and was like, yo, kicked the joint out. Was like, I don't need you. I'm rich already, but you ain't trying to help anybody else in this crib. Because he saw something in him, but he was like, yo, you not about to fuck my bread up because this stew costs money. Diddy with Biggie. So, but so now it's like your so, man's like, yo, grab that stick. Yeah. And then put the, and then don't really. No, but I, you know, I, I get it. And I get people don't love the art form. And I, and I get all that. That's, but to you me, think La Russell got these problems? No, no, no. But to me, though, to me, though, with that being said, the, the, Look, anything that's successful has demons. Anything okay. that brings in a large amount this of money, there will this be is demons. True. Leeches are will right? attack. That that's just that comes with the territory. So with the evolution and growth of hip hop, of course they're going to be the leeches. Of course they're going to be those people who don't care for the actual art. Like that just comes with the territory, which is fine to me. That's fine. You don't have to love this as much as I do. That does not mean. That does not mean. You should, you should be in the same danger as the leader of a gang. But what if the leader of the gang is the leader of the rock band? And that, that no, is what, but that, that's the no, no. That's but, what I'm saying. So here's, okay, but here's the thing. And, and, and look, I'm... And I'm down judging you niggas. And I don't want to... Look, at the end of the day, violence will always exist in this country. Period. Or yes, just, just human. Yes. Violence will always exist. So I'm not sitting here trying to be kumbaya, right? No, look, we, we profit off violence. There's boxing, there's kickbox, there's UFC. Oh, it's the worst like, type we of make violence. a lot of money off violence. Violence will always happen, and violence will always happen in our communities. That's, that's just a fact. But there's violence, and there's just a complete disregard of human life. And that's, where, that's the realm I think we're entering in, and that's the scary part. Because if people just can't appreciate life itself, look, me and you can have beef, there is probably one or two things that you could possibly do to me that I want to take your life away. Yeah, but here's the thing. Your life I away. I don't think... Ah, I'm glad you just reminded me. I don't think people value themselves. In, like, back to the morality thing. So, uh, outside of the very few that I would consider actual artists, you know, XX and even p and Rock and, you know, guys who actually... Was just on some artistry shrimp once they understood Te it. Technically, take over, take off was too. No, no. Yeah, I ain't never heard. I ain't never heard not one story of take off into no, into I the street shit. Fucked at all. with him. It was ready to see where this rise was gonna go because I felt he was the best one. That Cuban link shit with Quavo. Oh man, I was. When oh. I tell you, I was excited. I haven't been excited right? for Migos. Yeah, anything involving since the Migos we was their kids. since like Bad and Bougie. <laughs> This I still play them records. I still play these uh I, the, this this past joint with Quavo. Yeah. I play a lot of those records. The yeah. is heat. And, and and take off. You could tell that take off like where his role was and like it was like he's an interesting character because he was also one of the ones who wasn't really in the forefront. That's what I fucked with he about. Never, it was like everybody every story that has come genuine, out since right? he everyone said he was quiet, he was chilling, even according to according to the reports. 
the night of the murder, he wasn't even involved in the skirmish. Yeah. According to the reports, yeah, he was in he the was cut. He just happened to pop up and see what was going on with his mans and was walking away and he he was in the line of fire. So what I'm saying is with the value system is the nigga, let's now let's go off of the story. His mans, it was it was friendly fire, whatever, whatever. It's just an argument. We value each other. I'm in a situation, and let's say like you a chill nigga, you never been rah rah this that, but you been down for your niggas and you don't start no problem. So let's say some shit pop off and yo, know, I did my things in the street, whatever, whatever. I ain't never been like gangster nigga, more of a hustler. But like if I see some shit, cause I peep the scene, like I'm like, you know what? Like me and my nigga, we probably gotta get you know, let's let's but I value shit. Like even if a nigga suck my dick, it's like I'm not willing to let that 60 seconds or this argument that, and, fuck anything and, and, up for me and my niggas. That me, yo, you got some different shit. We gonna handle that a different day that's, or whatever, that's whatever, my point. or somebody else. So the fact that his man's like we don't know who shot first or whatever, whatever. So if it and mind if you, it wasn't his man that shot first, it was other niggas. It hurts that his man's caught him in friendly fire. But like, I think King. It sucks for me to say this, but I actually fuck with the Migos. We grew up off of them, you know. When my fucking Offset was in jail. Like it was, mm -hmm. we was listening also. So it was still like, King. I was desensitized when I read it. It was like, damn, yo, another one. But it's not another yo, one. It's, it's fucking not. Take off. And, and that's. But and, I was and like, that's damn, the, another and that's, one. And that's where we are again. That's where we are as a society. And this is when I'm talking about just the lack of, just empathy for life, <sighs> for life. Like, bro, what argument could have taken place at a charity event? Involving multi million, like I need yeah, you, to, I need you to say this out. And, and you know what? And my man, shout out to the group chat, brought this up too, right? And and just two days ago for Halloween, God, I seen Diddy. Part. I know, right? <laughs> God damn, this I seen um, family. I seen Diddy, right? Just about the Joker, or whatever. And then he, which was great. And but then he got some argument with the dude from. Uh, you ain't see this? Valid. Yeah, I'm good. You ain't see this? I, the dude I, I from only, I've only seen the, not the, power the, the or something Tyler like that. Clip. I only seen him uh, doing the Tyler. It was a, a great costume. Okay, already. so you didn't even see it. So not as here. At some point during the night, he got into a, a, a kind of a verbal altercation. It seemed like they squashed it at the end, but it seemed like he got into like a verbal who is, altercation. Who is the other uh, person? Some some actor. Uh, I, I guess from um, what did I just say? Power. Uh, I guess from Power. Some I gotta see who it was. I didn't really recognize the not dude. Not bro, Timmy. No, 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 no. I didn't recognize dude, but apparently he's a he, he's in a popular TV show. But the point is, <laughs> Diddy's a billionaire, right? I'm seeing Dizzy, Diddy talk all this wild shit. Imagine seeing Jeff Bezos on the streets of Brooklyn talking wild shit to somebody. Imagine, imagine seeing Elon with Elon Musk and all his craziness. Be, 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 be imagine seeing imagine seeing Elon Musk. Or Zuckerberg, or all these, uh, 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 my man who owns the Mavericks, Mark Cuban. Oh Imagine seeing I any of these Mark billionaires. I see Mark Cuban with niggas though. Uh, but, but on not, camera, oh, oh, not, in not the streets the, um, of New York. Not when the, uh, I'm about to, I'm about to split your top shit. Yo, and, and so like this is what, I, <laughs> like Yo, this is what I'm crazy. talking about, bro. We're we're talking about multi millionaires, <sighs> multi millionaires and billionaires, acting like a fucking fool. Yeah. On camera, value system, king. It's like values. That's how LeBron and I don't even. Now, now, granted, LeBron doing his do, but like the cast, we have to give this man credit all across the board because even the cast, it takes a certain some type of somebody to look, have an inner body and outer body. He looked at his ability and talent, was like, I can do this. Then the outer body was like, nigga, you can do this, but not by yourself. And then the cast that he put around him. And I'm realizing it now at this age, because I only want to get money with the squad. I only want to be loyal to the squad. But at the same circumstance, the squad you have around you has to understand the value of the entire uh, kingdom. Accountability. And that, and that was really the, 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 the synopsis of all this. I, we as black folk need to be more accountable. We need to hold each other more accountable. We need so to, be, we, we need to you, hold King. ourselves more accountable. There's fucking no accountability. There's just, there's just excuses and fucking reasons and everybody want to blame so white supremacy. and the, White supremacy ain't take, take, take off life. I'm they sorry. They kill a rapper I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to break it to you guys. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry to break it to The industrial uh, 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 complex that's fucking up black folk, that's not killing us, though. It, it, may, it may be causing our situation to be tougher, and we can all agree with that. 
But it's not, it's not pulling the trigger. I don't even taking, know. And I'm taking not, Dolph's life. It's not taking Nip's life. It's not taking Takeoff's life. It's not taking Triple X's life. I Those shit's not taking niggas' lives. I've seen the fucking uh, KKK throw up West Side. I ain't never seen them niggas say, oh, my fucking mama. As soon as I hear that, oh, shit. <laughs> I ain't never, that's what I'm saying. I, 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 bro, and, and, and granted, I understand system, I understand it, but niggas, and that's the shit that grind my getting it. Me yeah. too, because so, both, so, 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 both are true. Because both are true. Both are true, but King, this is, so I have two questions. One question is back to uh, um, the first point that you alluded. All right, so the systematic point, but like, with the social media shit, why aren't we holding niggas accountable for the shit that niggas do. Now, I'm not about to get into, like, the race thing, but, like, races, I think it's because Americans are too entitled. And to a certain point, the entitlement might have poisoned us more than the actuality of systematic oppression. Because we're entitled in a systematic, oppressive <laughs> sense. And that's the, that's the fucking Black Mirror <laughs> shit. You niggas is fucked. Because it's like, we fucked with freedom by some shit that's not free. It's like, fuck. It's Kool-Aid with too much sugar, King, because it's some bullshit. It's pissing me off, King. Oh, because I'm drunk. I'm getting hot. I got fur. I got leather. I'm sorry, America, if I'm going to play. Because, King, it's like, these niggas, bro, it's choices. And you've made a choice that I'm very, very proud of. To You've got a cast, even outside of people that we've we known each other since fuck, man. Oh, over 20 years. Oh, my God. And But the cast directly that's correlated with you to running this that allows me to come in this space, I haven't known outside of you. I know because of you. And you've chose to keep them around. And you guys hold, I've seen it. The things that we don't do. Hold each other account. You expect such and such to be here at such and such time, and you expect such and such to do this when you're not there, you're, they're not there. And what I'm saying is, when are we going to look at it as we have to hold each other accountable for what we do? Because somebody will whack somebody else, King, and they'll be like, free my mans. No. No. He no might honestly, got shit. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't want to be at quick check. No, ordering honest, my no, number but, seven. No, that, shot but, that's so, but, that, but that's what I agree a thousand fucking. No, don't free your mans. Your man just murdered somebody. I, Keep your man's in jail. Just a long your period. man's your man's is fucking nuts. He's nuts, right? Your man's don't got no fucking common sense. Or like the you saw that video a couple, I was like a month or two ago, of those young kids who who uh carjacked oh my dude God. And, then, and then shot him up at Son. Yo, like Son. What are, yo, but like why? Just I just wanna know why. What? What? Listen, if you want to carjack them, and, and I, listen, I'm a, of course I'm against the carjacking, but carjack them. What are you going to kill them for? This is what I'm talking about. Just pure, just lack of self accountability. Just look yourself in the mirror one time and think: Is this making fucking sense? Do you think it's bigger than the value that we said? What do you think? Like, like, like? From- no, I think it's a lack. I think I think people don't value themselves. I think people don't value others. I think it's just a pure lack of value of of human life, and that's it. Like I think, and that's a, where where it came from, how we got here. I'm not sure. I don't fucking know. I do agree with you. It's not games. But it, it's, it's not, not music. And video, it, because it's, it's not. It's, it's because not we're, we're just all here all. now. We're here at this level of just complete disregard for people. I don't. I'm not talking about. Listen, <laughs> not everybody got to be kumbaya. People are going to fight. All these things are going to exist. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, but we're humans. But just stop killing. Like, I, just stop that part. The other shit's going to happen. I get it. And some uh, people are poor. People are, are struggling, trying to survive. So, you know, theft and all these other things are going to take place. Uh, gang violence. Like, all these things. I, I get all that. Right? Yo, we're murdering the people yeah. who are actually made it out. Yeah. And, and should be... I don't, I don't. They don't have to be symbols of the community, but at least should be a blueprint for the rest of us trying to get out. From the re- yeah. because, look, like I said in the beginning of this, right? If you take away being an artist, if you take away entertainment as a way out of these tough environments, what's left? Because these little niggas aren't aren't looking up to be a, a trader at Prudential. They're not looking up to be a trader at JPM. 
I think they're that's the problem up, too. They're though. not looking up to be doctors or nurses. And I, but that's so that I part of it. No, but that too. part of it I get just because of the the systematic issues are in place. I, so I understand. I understand why there aren't many yeah. like us or, or aren't many people uh, that look like us that um, are able to break into these jobs and institutions. I understand that. You know what? But sucks? that's why that's why I'm so sensitive to the entertainment portion. Because that is the way out, or a way out. Are we being insensitive? I have another. This was another question. Are we being insensitive? Because even at a certain age, uh, when did you did you did did you start Catholic school when I met you, or prior to? I went to Catholic school my whole life. Me too. So K through twelve, and I'm very fortunate. And some niggas, they got they they. You know, it's funny because even like I, we went to summer camp and sports camp. We did all of that shit, and then like they're like. Growing up, like, oh, you went to Cavs school. Even though, oh, y'all Cavs school. I'm like, Nick, you black, right? You've been graduated. Honestly, that Catholic school shit to me, honestly, is just is, is the biggest bullshit in the world. In to the be world. Because I, I, I tell I, niggas. Listen, I know niggas that did biz that went to Catholic school. Exactly. And I know and, niggas and that went to public school and did biz. Exactly. <laughs> so, I mean, I mean. They together. I, <laughs> they broke <bunkies. laughs> So and bigger than that, I used to tell niggas, I was like, but I'm with the niggas. It's two sides. Because I go home and then we chill with us. Like, so I'm with the niggas that, like, that's doing a ride or whatever, whatever. And then, like, when I go to school and outside of that, like, with the niggas that's making the laws to lock the niggas up that's doing a ride or whatever. And I think, like, what I mean, insensitivity from our side is we saw both sides at an early age. And, and I, I know where you're going with this. No. Right? I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm even slightly insensitive. Like, really? You want to know why? You want to know why I don't think I'm even slightly the insensitive? Said no. You wanna, you know, <laughs> but you want to But you want to know why? You want to know why? He said no. be, because because I'm not I don't think I don't think we're asking for anything crazy. We're asking for niggas oh, to not shit. kill each other. Not to kill each I, other. I'm not Fuck. asking for niggas Fuck. to go be millionaires. Wow. I'm not asking for niggas. I understand there's a struggle. I understand I've been blessed. I understand niggas yes, have been in yes. way worse environments. I get all that. I'm not holding none of those things against nobody. What I am holding against you is you taking somebody's life. I don't nothing, need, you don't need Catholic nothing, school. For nothing, for nothing. You don't need public school. You don't need school. <laughs> to know that taking another person's life, probably not the best fucking thing in the world. Fuck. This is, so this, that's why I don't want to, I'm not trying, this is, and this is why I'm talking about excuses. And I, not to say you, but I, I, I just on Twitter. No, I'm, I'm seeing, yeah, I'm yeah, seeing yeah, people yeah. like, oh, well, this is the fault of the white man. And da, da, da. No, yo, this no, is, this is no. why no one's being held accountable. Because when when we are doing shit to each other, yeah. we want to point the blame at every other yeah, direction. I don't fuck with that. Then to say, hey, maybe we got to fucking tighten up. Because yeah. with all the anti-Semitic shit going around, you know the one thing the Jewish people, the Jewish community does do well? What's up? Protect each other from the outside and the inside. And the inside. Talk about Say it again. Say it They the protect each other game, from the... Key. We want to talk about Jewish Say people. Again, everybody, want, everybody want to get mad at Jewish people. Say Listen, it again. they protect themselves from the outside world and the inside and the world. Motherfucking When's the inside. last time you heard about Thank Jew you. on Jew violence? They, huh? Am I deaf? I'm not hearing tonight. Let, let me ask you one more time. I When's the last time you heard about Jew on Jew violence? Not never. And my lawyer is Dr. Quivenstein Beinberg, <laughs> and you motherfuckers can't afford it. That's what I'm saying, King. <laughs> These <laughs> niggas. Bro, they're so not like, thinking. So like they're we talk, we, we talk about marginalized, we talk about marginalized communities, and really, it's it's the only the only one that I see self destruct on a regular basis is us. So like, how do you want us? How do you expect us to grow when we have to we have to fight the outside and ourselves? And you know what? You know what? Get me high too. You know what? Fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. And we've got some more time, but I'm going to say this shit. It's a hot take for you niggas that like spicy foods. <laughs> dig, dig, dig this shit. All you niggas, we're fooled. Black culture ain't nothing but Pat Bev. It got you <laughs> niggas fooled. You niggas talk that mob shit. Dig this. They own shit. <laughs> they have lawyers. They have businesses. Nigga. Nigga, it's a Koreatown, Chinatown, Lil Mexico. We drinking tequila. You motherfuckers don't own malt liquor. And they bosses. That's the thing. Motherfuckers do the crime and then be afraid of the time. 
I'm grown now. I'm not saying I, I don't got homies that's with the fuck shit. Da, 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 da. Like I said, I did my shit. You motherfuckers, you know niggas going to Google, motherfuck, and you academics niggas pull shit, pull shit. Yeah, you going to pull big juice shit. You want to you you see my shit. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm better than nobody, but I'm saying like, I got a kid now. I understand mortality. I did back then. I value your life like my life, even if I don't know you. I'm going to respect you till you disrespect me. King, dig this. Even if a nigga disrespect me, I don't have to like, disrespect like, and, But like I said... I can walk away. And like I said, there's probably one or two instances where I really feel like we got to take it that far. And even and even if you do get me, in the off chance you do get me that like, bad... Like, if they got some crazy... We, I'm, I'm trying to fight, though. I'm trying to fight. I, like, I, do you that, think niggas want to fight guess, anymore? No. You a big dude, too. And, but like, I guess that's... <laughs> and maybe, like, that's a... That, like, that's a screws you up in my head. It's because... You got little, it's bro. It's never murder. Like, I never have murder on my mind. No! I, I want a box. That's it. That's... I'll, I'll try to kick a, a, a nigga teeth in if we get there. If we get but there. But I want, I want him to recover. Go home. Go see your family, too. I think, like, damn, I shouldn't have probably... And I, I feel probably bad. I should never curb stomp them. A after that, right? But... But listen, I, we, I don't want to take all time danger? with this. I don't want to take all time with this. I don't want to take all day with this. Because we can, we can go now down I'm this rabbit hole forever. Now I'm hot. But just the moral, yo, just us. And I'm talking strictly to black folk. I'm looking at y'all in the mirror. Y'all listening to this. Black folk. Tighten the fuck up. That's let's, it. Let, let's, yo, let's come together and let's protect ourselves. Let's protect ourselves from the outside. And let's protect ourselves from the inside. Hold your man accountable. You know your man's wilding. You know your man be robbing. You know your man be doing all this bullshit, hurting our own people. Tell him to cool the fuck out or, or just yeah. or, or, or X him out. That's not your man's no more. Let him go be with the fucking sewer people. Because that's all these niggas are, just fucking sewer people, my nigga. No cap. No cap. These niggas are sewer. Like, yo, and listen, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm hypersensitive. I'm hypersensitive to the hustle because I got family. I, myself, I know, I know enough hustlers. I know what it is. Murdering I, I get it. hustler. I, but that's my point. And these things dumb, not dumb even guys, hinting. dumb guys, dumb that just oh, that just murder oh, and just yeah, do all that. Yeah, they sewer people. Because they they not they, 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 they're not about nothing. They're not trying to help you. They're not trying to help themselves. You're not murdering my man to help yeah. yourself. Fuck, I get what you're saying. I get what you're they saying. They sewer people. Leave them down there. They fucking cretins. They don't even. They don't. <laughs> They're not fucking worth the time of day. Oh my god! Clip them. They gonna fucking clip tag them. Us like a Mitt Romney clip. These niggas. <laughs> I guess he get it. What else you got? All right, man. Game? My rant's over. But anyway, to move on. Um, again, we spoke about Halloween, and and obviously you're still there's still. Uh, by the way, I hope people follow. <laughs> what, what you, can you put your Instagram handle? Ooh, can you let the people know? Are we going to wow. Thank Just you, tell me name. Just tell them the name. The Big Juice Show is some period. So I, I don't know how niggas. I believe it's the period. Big, big period. J E W or J U W. J E W. Okay, J E W. Shout out to my juice. I love my Hebrew name. I'm Hebrew. J E W. J E W. Please period. go. Show. Please go check it out. You'll see the greatest Pootie Tang costume ever created. Wow. Um, but so I want to talk a little bit about Halloween, right? Let's so get into it. For the party, I brought my lady there. Um, and prior to the party, she was uh, looking for a Halloween costume, right? So she finds out. Uh, no, she got it. Well, late. She, we did it. Late, but she got it. But got she got it. it. But she got it. So the costume, uh, the original costume that she had, uh, skimpy, asshole, not super out, but ass out, Halloween shit. Okay. Right? And she looked at him. I was like, oh, look, you look great. You look wonderful in it. And she was like, I feel like I'm showing a lot. I'm like, ah, it's all right. It's Halloween. Put some stockings on. No biggie. Like, yeah, you got, uh, what are you going to do? Um, and she was like, wow, like, you're not jealous or, you know, feel away about my outfit. I'm like, well, you with me. Why would I feel away? And, you know, I, I, I was more confused that she thought I would yeah. feel away, right? So I have two questions for you. My first question yeah. is, are you a jealous guy? And so with that, do you feel like there is a certain dress code needed for your lady? So the first question for me is a two-part answer. I'm not jealous. And that's because I'm half retarded. <laughs> and I... Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Side note. For, my, for, my, for, my, for the mentally disabled community. He didn't, no! mean, he didn't mean to use the R word. <laughs> it's... <laughs> It's in a book. <laughs> I read a book today. The book said retarded. I don't mean nothing by it. <laughs> Just got to make sure we don't get, we don't get canceled already. <laughs> Go ahead. So I love you guys, but 
And and the second part is, I think, just because of my upbringing, uh, I didn't get a lot of cheeks until like high school, and then I I didn't I didn't get the whole like I thought everybody wanted the bad joint, right? So then now yeah. we grown, and it's responsibility to come with that. I think if if your lady yeah. looks good, you got a nice looking lady. I got a nice looking lady. That's what we aspire for, right? Right. If we wanted trailer park trash, I would. Be in the fucking trailer park. Right. That, yo, thank you. Because I, I it, it, and, I, it, and we're not ball copper and we're not pulling up on a scooty bike like, yo, bro, that's my name. <laughs> I'm not doing that. You know what? I think we're also the type of brothers to give our lady a certain type of leash and say, hang yourself. Facts. But, so, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I keep cutting you off. Go ahead. No, no. But when they kick that chair, bitch, I ain't catching you. And that's, so that was gonna be my follow up point. Go. I don't get jealous because I feel like, first, I'm just not a jealous person. But if you do something enough for me to be jealous, something wrong with it's you. clipped. Yeah. It's clipped because you're wilding. If I'm jealous, you're wilding because I don't get jealous. I be chilling. And, I, and anybody that knows me knows I'm extremely laid back. I, like, yes. and, I'm not, and I'm not saying it like the weirdo men, well, I don't get jealous and really are like psychopaths. Like, I dead ass don't get jealous. Like, like I, I, I genuinely, and the reason I genuinely, genuinely, genuinely don't get jealous is because, like, I, if, if you're my John, if you're my girl, I don't even feel like I need to be jealous because, we're, like, where are you going? And if you're going to go somewhere, then why, what are we even doing? Is that because, also, I, I think once we, quote, unquote, went through this blow up, um, we didn't necessarily, now everybody, you and Tina, you, your girl crazy, whatever, whatever, I'm not, I'm not denying that, but I'm saying, like, don't chase women. Well, obviously now you're in the situation, but I'm saying prior to that, like you weren't the type of dude who was every time you're out, you know that guy, yo, bro, I got her number, I got her number. Never, I, 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 oh, 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 my nigga, oh, oh like, we, we, know, we know dudes like that. Never been. That's what I'm saying. Never been. So do you think your security lies in knowing like, one, you're focused on what your end goal is. Two, women going to be there along the path of the goal. 100%. Is, is, I, I think, and I, and I like, think, and like, I, what is it? 100%. And I think that switch happened um, playing high school ball because mm. I remember prior to that, right? And, and I had a very I, good school. I, I, I could tell this story because you were there, you, you were a prime witness. So back when we were in elementary school, right? I, when, when I joined the school that you were at, um, I first came in with glasses, braces, like yes. the, the doofiest kid in the world, Tall, right? Tall, skinny. Tall, lanky, <laughs> like uncoordinated. Like I was a doofy doof, right? Oh, so it, it, it probably like eighth grade-ish where people like started to like start to warm up to me and like I started actually having friends and people would talk to me, whatever, whatever, oh, right? Wow. And then when high school hit and I could ball... And then I saw the females. Then you start filling out. And then it's like, oh. Got athletic. So I realized then, and maybe Thank even you. subconsciously, I realized like, oh, women will come the, with what I do. I don't need to chase because I know they'll come because I'm nice at ball. And I just kept that way through my, my, well, through my whole life. you're not dude and you're I mean, chill. I fair. Because it's like, different. No, but, but like, ah. I, we know we know. Ah. No, you know, shout out, to my, shout out to the gay community. But we know attractive men. That no, a little oh, shit. We, you know what I mean? We, they they mention oh, a little. Okay, you know I what I mean? You, I like we we know we know men who are attracted are fucking little nuts. You know what I'm saying? There's I know some, I know a good with I know a good amount of men, good looking men that, that, that have always crazy. that have always gotten women. You know, never had an issue with dates or or, or having sex, nothing like that. But like they're a little fucking weird, and I'll talk to like their girlfriends or exes or whatever, and they'll tell me shit about my peoples. I'm like, really? You like that? And they're like, yeah, be wild. And I'm like, oh shit. So I, I so <laughs> so I, I realized what? I, I realized that like, yeah, like I, I've never <laughs> been the jealous type because A, I feel like it, I feel like if you are close, if, if I've gotten close to you enough that jealousy is even a possibility, and then you allow me to be jealous, where it's clipped. Like it's clipped. You're doing you it know, on purpose. You're doing it on you're purpose. Doing you're doing, doing some purpose. fuck shit because you know how I am. If you someone that deals with me for a long amount of time, you know how I am. And you know I'm not about that life. So if you, if you out, if, if I'm getting there, there's, because you're fucking making me. Like, you're, you're clearly doing some fuck shit to make me get there. Does your, In which case, it's clipped. Does your lady, does she deem that as, not a problem, but she, she No, but like, she finds it weird. I know where you're going with that. Yeah, she finds it very weird. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, and, I, and, you know, shout out to her exes. 
But <laughs> you feel me? Let's let's get some. Let's get some Thank let's get some you. <laughs> I appreciate y'all. Um, so, but yeah, her past relationships, you know, she she definitely dealt with men the exact opposite that were extremely insecure, that would question her. Like she, you know, sometimes she would be like, "Oh, uh, is it cool if I go hang out with my parents?" I'm like, "Yo, what the fuck are you asking me that the, for?" The people that brought you into this. I'm like, "Yo, what?" This world. And, and, but then she'll tell me like, you know, her ex would get mad because she was out to dinner with her parents too long and whatever. I'm like, "What?" I'm like, "Yo, if you don't get the fuck out of this house and go see." Her. I'm like, "Yo, I, I'm, I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, yo, I'm actually mad you asked me this. <laughs> like, yo, don't, don't ask me no silly shit like what? this. Go see your fucking family. Like, I, what? I put it like this: if if you go out to get some lasagna with me, Ma, and Peepa, <laughs> and you don't come home to six a.m. <laughs> Yo, well, ain't no I tomato you. sauce that good in the world, bitch. I think we have a problem. But it ain't even like it, it, it's it's. I think wow, it's crazy because wow, it is hard, King. Like that that men because it's like I don't want to live in that paradigm. I don't want to be in that universe to where my girl's actions control my reactions. I'm not talking about the argument. I'm talking about like when she goes, I. Maybe that's because I'm a kinky kink, but like I like when my shorty throw it on. As long as you no. don't touch her and disrespect her, because yeah. one, one, one king, she also is an adult. Bitch, you know you fire. Yo. You gotta police your shit too. Cause like I'm not gonna say no names. I might have an argument when the video drop. A few of you little freaky bitches was touching my nipples at the party. <laughs> now look. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm oh no king. I'm only saying this shit because that me too shit is also Pat Bev. <laughs> I fuck, fuck the new shit for 2024. I'm about to go Pat Bev. Pat Bev. A lot of y'all Pat You know Bev. why? Because he playing with Russell Westbrook. <laughs> That's why. Niggas was talking like, Pat Bev. Because yo, they were like, oh my God, he touched me, he touched me. This was like, oh my God, you pooty tank. Went straight to the nipple. It was no king. It was no, yeah. it was no interjection. It was, I'm like, oh, you crazy. Because if I if I play with your nipple. It's a whole different and conversation. Feeling me, it's a whole different conversation. Yeah. So outside yeah. of that, as long as somebody don't touch, like, I, I feel like you feel the same way. They don't touch our ladies or be like, yo, she fine as hell. I want her to suck my, like, whoa. Yeah, yeah, whoa. whoa. No, whoa. and so that's, whoa. and so honestly, Outside for me, she gotta police herself. For me, and maybe it's my own ego. It's like, yeah, girl, get dressed up, look good, so niggas know who I am. So niggas oh, know who it, I it, am. It, 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 it. Like I want them to know who I am. I'm him. You see her? That's me. Thank you. Put it on. Let them see what I have, and th- what, let them see what they could never get. Ain't that the point? Ain't that the point? What's the point of getting the baddest chick in the room and telling her go hide inside? Go, go put a nun costume on, even though I've been chasing your sexy ass for how long? I've been chasing you for six months, but I want you on top of the roof like Batman. <laughs> Nigga, what? You don't got a bitch, you got a ghost. Fuck out of here. Pat Bev. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's weird. And I seen a few niggas, I seen a few niggas like that. Well, you know, you know the fake dancing niggas in the club. They fake dancing on their joint, but they looking at every other nigga. There was a few of them at the party. Yeah. Looking at every other nigga to see if the nigga looking at their joint while they fake dancing on them and shit. I'm like, nigga. <laughs> you don't think she realized that? Oh my God. No, but for so I yeah, I I I find it funny that women find it weird. And I find it funny that men are like that because. My point is that what was the point? What was the point of getting the baddest chick in the room? What was the point of chasing her all this time to hide her? Where do you think their insecurities? Let me ask you. Oh, that. I so this is I, I think men are I think men are more insecure than women. Really? Oh yeah. You gotta you gotta unpack oh, yeah. that for me. You I think I think to. I think men are more insecure than women. Um, and the reason actually a pretty lengthy list, but the re- a couple of reasons why I think so is, A, because at the end of the day, men chase women. Most women don't chase men. Wow. Right? So, for the most part, we all grew up with the mindset of, you want to go get a girl, you got to chase her. With that understanding yeah. is, you know there's other men chasing her as well. So, you get wow. nervous because you're thinking, oh, well, he's better than me, whatever, whatever, whatever. I have never felt that way just because it's like, sis, if you think that, go ahead. I know who I am. I can tell you yeah. there's a lot of exes right now that are sick. 
A hundred percent. And because I was a nice guy, and now I'm now I'm up. So now they sick. So that's one reason. Um, I, I think I think men, you know, for the most part, insecure like their financial situation. So if you're not at this if age, you're not in your yeah, peak or whatever yeah. financially, you, you're nervous because you, you know you know there's another nigga out there who can take your lady on that three hundred dollar dinner, yeah. and you over home, you're at home hoping that this oodles and noodles with, with hot dogs yeah, work. And, and, you, and you a Hulu like yo, I hope the description don't last. How old these niggas? And your mom upstairs, so you're, you're hoping the door lock and she'll hear you. Oh. Ah. Right, so I, so I, I think there are just a lot of societal now, pressures on those men, niggas heads, but I, I think, those niggas be on they be. But I, I, I think niggas comment though. I hope you comment, but <laughs> I'll put your niggas heads. I, I do think I think men are are just generally more insecure than women. I just think women are just way more vocal about Is it. Is it not just over the soda? Can I say this because like, ooh, we have the only expectation ooh. to make sure we provide, protect. And maintain. So every level, fair. But I'm gonna play we, devil's advocate. That that we because the thing is like, but but also, oh, fuck. But I'm like play I devil's said, advocate. With I'm this. not gonna blame these niggas for being dumb, but we <laughs> intelligent. So but I'm, so, I'm so like that. here's my like devil's that. advocate though. But on the flip side, only men can have multiple partners and not be judged. No. No, I, I'm Come in a relationship, on. so I'm going to leave that at that. Come on. If I'm, if I'm single... I'm talking about, talking about the other... If, 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 if I'm single, if I'm... I put like this, kid. No, yeah. I'm talking about... We know, we know men. Okay, okay. I'm we gonna, know men I'm in relationships. Gonna I'm not going to say nobody name. Not gonna do, but we personally <laughs> know men in relationships that got hoes. Okay. And should I probably hold them accountable? Man, maybe. It depends who you ask. I'm not. Though. How long have they been with them? Uh, come on, I'm not gonna name names. Name your names, names Don. You know what? Just, My bad. Just, I knocked just, it up. I just... knocked it up. I knocked it up. <laughs> what's that? What's that do? Yeah, I mean to knock it up. That <laughs> got killed. My, 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 my point is, my point is that to to play devil's advocate, it, it's not necessarily easy being a woman, especially dating a man that you care about, because you do realize there is a chance that he can have side pieces and side women. Yeah, and the only way you will know if he slips up. Now, as you've been saying after this episode, uh, we we may not be dumb, but we're not. You know, we intelligent, we intelligent, right? So we don't always hide things very well. <laughs> but my point is, you know, your man's not gonna buy, your man's not gonna press you on it. Like you know, you, uh, unless you're email Udoku, which apparently you lose your fucking job for. That's but <laughs> but, give a but fuck. honestly, but like no, but but like you can do that shit. No one's really gonna say nothing to you. Now, if you're a woman married or with a man, and you and you fucking on the side, sis, you're a pariah. Because if any other nigga no! finds it, if any if any of your future boyfriends or husbands or whoever find that out, it's clipped. All right, all and, right. And if it's not right. clipped, you're fucking Am I cuck. sexist for this? Am I, oh, oh, so you want to say fucking... You want to say, <laughs> oh, say fucking type talk. You feel me? I'm going to dig this. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm one of these niggas, though. And 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 so on a status... I ain't, I ain't girlfriend with white folk yet. So King King here, and I'm, I'm trying to... <laughs> I, I, go I, got white folk. I got a couple more floors to go. This fox, this my aunt shit. It's my own <laughs> shit. Put it in the shit. I'm missing some fox. We going, we going, we going. But it's real. It's real. We going to get there. So King, a couple of bubby. But I recognize so I'm people game. I'm trying to learn game. So I put like this. Real quick. I ain't never been the type of nigga like, like you said, like, I ain't never really been. Because it was like, oh, all right, if, you, if that's what you want, that's what you want. Right? But it's also this. You can't do what I do. Not to say like, and then I'm speaking from a younger mindset, but I still hold this. And but but as a younger mindset, it was like, it was it, like when you hold a certain level of value, monetarily, morally, in a forward thinking wise, because you and your person that you're with, your 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 respective other, it's supposed to be. Complimentary, right? Mm -hmm. So when you hold a certain level of value, whatever the compliment, whatever the complimentary value is in any individual relationship, you can't do what I do. So if I'm making sure this, that, and the third is taken care of, if I'm putting you on game, if you I'm, need I'm gonna play it, devil advocate again here. And you, oh god damn it! But if I need it, I mean, if you need it and I got it, and it ain't even a question. 
What make you think to get me jealous you could do what I do? Because here's the thing. I feel, like, I feel like this. Humbly, respectfully, peacefully, modestly. I feel like this. If a nigga... I ain't talking about a nigga who work at goddamn... I'm, I'm not saying nothing about Wendy's. <laughs> but if a nigga work at Wendy's, he's slinging dick all across the town, and you a bad bitch, and you dealing with that, you probably... You ain't that... You could go somewhere else. Tracks. But if a nigga, he on his shit, this and that, like, what woman want a man that other women don't want? I never got that concept. I think that's why we not jealous, King. Well, no, I, you're, you're right. In the what sense of, like, my... my I, I hold my value... I, I've always held myself to, to a high women, value. I feel like they smell the fair, but they smell that and, shit. And so, like, I, I held myself to this they value when that. I was broke. Yeah, they, you feel they me? smell like, so why not, broke nigga so, ain't giving so, me your dick? Yeah, so, he like, not broke. when I was broke, I felt like I was him and I wasn't worried. I ain't broke no more. So imagine how I feel. And you still, and did, did, did it be hard? I'm you feel just, me? So that, and like, it's funny, because when we had the conversation, I'm like, yo, why would I ever be jealous? I'm like, keep it honest. And I, and I, I said this to her, so I said, and I said it jokingly. I was you like, sis, it? I'm the prize. What you, you talking said about? It? I said, sis, if you, oh, I said, I said, sis, if you leave, who you gonna get like me? Talk your shit. Cause they be quick to do it. They be in the mirror. And it, it don't even, it don't even, King. It, who you gonna get like it me? It don't be a word. It don't be a word. It be like, they, they, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Shut up. You know what I'm Cause we live without King. Stop it. Stop lying. Stop lying. We live without... We live without... We it's live the without, shoulder. We, it's the shoulder you know, twitch. You know, oh, I know. Am I lying? Am I lying? Because you know what it is? King, when they in the mirror, when they in the mirror, and, then, and you just you just mind your bitch. I'm you on a game. I'll be, I might be on a game. <laughs> oh, playing with my son on the phone. Whatever. And she... <laughs> Yo, uh, my nigga, let me call you back. Uh, do I need a, uh, We got a problem? What I, you mean? <laughs> I, I need a call. Can I, what's up? What's up? She like... Yo, that's fucking you lucky funny, as hell. bro. Oh what, my god. What you order, Papa John? <laughs> so hold on. So we'll keep you know things I'm not lying. <laughs> so we're gonna keep things moving. This is my last question for tonight before we get to our or before we get to our list. Um we, we actually spoke about this on an episode I never put out, so that's my fault. But I wanted to bring it back because we're gonna put this one out. What's up? What's up? What's up? Um Do you have conversations about your sex life with your lady? Oh shit. Like, do y'all with her? Is the conversation involving her? What? <laughs> what is this nigga talking about? This shit on camera. Nigga, listen to me again. You're not listening. <laughs> do you have conversations about your sex life with your lady? Like you and your lady's sex life. With her. Like, yeah, like, with like, her. like, like, like the, like the sex her. me and her had. Yes. Um. <sighs> because I, th- go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You go first. Well. The reason I asked the question is because, so one of the, I will say one of the great things about me and my lady is, this is probably the best communication I've ever had in a relationship. In a sense of me and her are pretty open with each other. We say pretty much what we want and there's never lasting beef or like, you know, whatever. So with that said, okay. with that said, I have been just test not testing, but like talking about things that I probably never have ever spoken about with a, a partner before. So we talked about sex and our sex life and like things to spice things up or whatever. Because I think nowadays there is a just just a realization that like everyday normal sex after a while gets old. Right? Yeah. So like, you know, with with me and her, not to say that our sex got old, but I, I wanted to start the communication now so that, you know, if we're married 10, 15 years. You know, I'm not gonna feel like scared to bring it up. So we talk about it. You know, we 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 uh, 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 tried different things and and whatever. But my point is, I've only begun speaking about my sex, our sex life, or my, basically the sex life with my partner, for the first time with her. I've never done that before. So like, that's really where my question stems from. Like, is is it is it like a taboo thing for men? To not want to have these conversations is it an ego thing where we all just assume we're the greatest sex partners ever, which because we're not. But like, it, like so, it, and and maybe I could just be wrong, and, and most men do this, and I, and I just wasn't, you know, I was in the minority. I feel like uh, at this age, um, in my thirties, I feel like I'm understanding that sex is an individualistic ability. And or interest. 
because they make it seem like I every don't know man. If I agree. They make because King. Well, don't they, they make it seem like it. every man really want to slay everything? That's I want okay. all the okay. dragons. I see where you come from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. how many niggas they be? They be like, I need a bad bitch. We know what's funny. I can name. Bro, I can. Pro- I her? can probably name one all, out of all of my friends. I can probably name only maybe one, maybe two that actually believe that. Where they're just trying to slay every dragon available. I think for the majority of my friends, exactly, they're not like that. It's, 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 that, it's the perception that's out there. It's the perception I, that's out I don't, there. I don't think they're and really I think like that. Fake that bravado, but some some don't even really know. If your dick was a controller, some niggas don't know the R two no can way. do certain things. No way. No, right? Way. Oh, not the R two, the R B. Oh my the RB, god! The but the L one, the I'm in that genre. <laughs> I didn't know I had an R B. <laughs> Niggas Oops. just pressing X and A the whole time. It's <laughs> Bay, I've been the hitting R2. box and X. I'm sorry. Niggas just learned L two was a button. That's what I'm saying, bro. So, and outside of that, I think that once you've been, because time is also the devil's best friend. Because once you've been in a certain position for a certain amount of years, you you get complacent. So you're like, oh, whatever partner that thinks that is like the other partner isn't going anywhere. So I don't need to do that. She likes this or he likes this. Maybe they don't know more. Because like you said, everyday sex. And then like... If you check your partner's browser, you might be surprised. So, so, and 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 that's really where I'm kind of going with this, in the sense of that's why I've decided to take the leap and try to have these conversations because you initiated this shit. Oh, I'm the one who brought it up. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Scared as hell. Uh, no, so I, I brought it up because again, like I have the intention of being with this person for a long time, forever. Now, with yeah. and, and and one of the, I guess one of the traits that I have that. I, I think every person should have a self-awareness. And I'm very self-aware that I don't always know what she likes during sex. Likewise. I know what I love during sex, and, and but I know that doesn't equate to what she loves. Are right? you also willing to try everything, though? Almost everything. Because I'm like, I'm going to pull the bag on the bed and Almost. see what door hit, and then I'm knocking <laughs> shit off the floor. Like, oops, my bad. Oh, yeah. we ain't fuck oh, with that. Almost, like, it almost. Is, it is a weak thing. Almost. And you know what? You know what? Well, no, her... Let me not say that. But I, 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 I <laughs> almost, almost. So, but to go to my point, I think the reason where the reason why I made the initiative and the leap to do that is I don't again, I don't want to be that guy 10 years from now, 15 years from now. You're still like so yo, I, I, like yo, I fucking <sighs> hate this. Cause yo, there's so much time. 10 years is for Did me is 41. Yeah, if, could you imagine, imagine at 41 bro, being still bored so out of my mind? Fucking young. Like, yo, I have so much life to live. Oh. And like I, I'm already bored out of my fucking mind. Like that's so that's those are the things that I I I've thought about. And I said, you know what? I want to make the initiative to try and change that. And I guess because men, you know, honestly, men don't have honest conversations about sex with each other. No. Right. And and because it's either it's either seen as gay or niggas just lie. And everybody got 10 inch dick paws, and everybody can fuck for 15 hours. Yeah, if that's like, the case, you'd have been a porn hub. You know what I'm saying? Like, every, if you ask, if you talk to two men, both of those men are the greatest porn stars ever, ever to live. Yo, right? I was fucking that bitch from here to broad. So, you know what I'm saying? So, so with that understanding, right? Once you're in real life and, 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 and in a relationship, or even if you're not in a relationship, you're just dealing with women and, and you know, having sex or whatever. You really don't... The only time you actually get feedback or conversation about sex that's honest is with a female. How did you initiate it? I, I straight up asked her. I was like, yo, like, what the fuck do you like? Before, like, like was it just a random day? Just a random day. I was chilling. And I was just like, that's yo, like, 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 what, like, like, what are you, like, what, like, what are you that's into? Dope. Like, what do you, what am I not doing? What am I doing well? How can I do things better? And that's again, it's, it's only because, think about anything. Literally anything that you want to be good at. Yeah. Just name anything. Because you saw... You got to get some type of fucking feedback. The trajectory feedback. of where you wanted the relationship to go. Yeah, and like I said, I just understand that as being a man, especially as a man who... I, I was in the streets for a long time, right? I don't ever want to wander with, with the partner with that With the I person have. that you're with. So yeah. I know in order for me not to wander, 
I want to make sure our sex life is always fresh, new, exciting, that I never have any desire. Because everything else is, like, I, I'm set. A1. So, and, and most, I, I think a lot of men can say that, right? A lot, because uh, if you're dealing with a woman who can't at least cook clean or whatever, then I'm sorry, King, you're, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. But, you know, all the, <laughs> all the basic wife things, you know, are, were there. So for me, it's like, all right, I know the only thing, just because I'm a man and, I'm, I, and I have my, my brain's the size of a fucking uh, a chimp, that I, I know sex and sexual things would probably be the only thing that, up, that, yeah. that I would ever. So for me, it's like, all right, I know me. Let's nip that in the bud. Let's have these conversations. Hey, what do you like? How can we do whatever, whatever, whatever? Personally, it's been great. I think the conversation has been conversation? going well. I think the conversation, I mean, it wasn't, I don't want to make it seem like there's like this big turnaround. I just think that, I guess for my mental, it's been great. Whereas like, I know oh, there are, okay, I know okay, there's okay. levels now. I know, you know, we, we were at tier one, but we can get to tier two and then we can get to tier three and tier four. <sighs> and combo. like with those tiers, new excitement, new adventures, new this, new that. You know what I'm saying? Like the excitement part, Keeps to me keep, going. To keep, and that's yeah. and that was my main point of all this. I want to stay excited. Because it's it's human nature. If you're dealing with anything, friends, females, toys, whatever. I was drinking vodka from, oh, from 18 to 25. I, I now will never touch vodka ever again. I can't do it. You feel me? So, like, that's what I'm saying. Can't like, we're, we're human beings. If you do anything for a long amount of time the same fucking oh, way, you're years. most Fuck. likely going to get fucking bored. Right or you're gonna to want to change, so that's why I, I, that's why I initiated it, and I brought it up to have this conversation today because I feel like, a Damn. again, it's taboo for men. It's extremely taboo for men, and B, I think these type of conversations. I think if men were the ones to initiate it, I think a lot of relationships will will last longer and be healthier. Just and and I think I think just because again, I mean, I think pride. Is one of the biggest killers of men. Period. I, I think 100%. If men that's our biggest just, killer. Just sl- put the, the pride to a slide just a little. We have a hard time swallowing that, but you can see. You know, you, you, God knows what could happen. I think. See, the thing is, like I said, I feel like not dumb. Well, I'm not calling y'all dumb, <laughs> but we intelligent. So I'm gonna say this: we're very self-aware, and that's the first step to understanding surroundings around you, where you're at, how to live, and why you're living. So that's just it, self-awareness. So what I'm alluding to is, I think you women aren't self-aware. Not all of you. Whoa, no, talking, I, I, know, I, know, I know, I know, I know, I know, but I just told y'all, y'all started the Me Too movement, which is probably Lil Nas X who started that Come shit. Because I got my nipple touched on more than one occasion. And I'm wearing leather pants. God fucking knows I touch any bitch in leather pants with a fucking nipple rub. I'm going to Rikers. <laughs> bitch, I'm from Jersey. They going to send me to fucking Rikers. I swear to God. So outside of that, King, what, I, what I'm getting at is, what I'm getting at is, I, I, <laughs> I think a lot of these women are pet bad. Oh, my God. I, 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 fuck. This is a hot take. It's a hot take day. It's a fuck out of But I think a lot of these women are pet peeves because they hit you with the, ooh, I suck your dick upside <laughs> down like Peter Parker and all this other shit. And they get knocked up. Boom. Where the sucks go? <laughs> you right, know what man. I'm saying? Because they know, they know, like you said, we got them chips ring. They said, yo, look, if you don't cook, you don't clean, hell, bitch, you barely know how to do taxes. <laughs> But you fuck me like the world's ending on Thursday. I'm going to stay. And you, she know that. She know that. That's why we had this conversation. And she know that, King. And then, and then everything else out the window. But for some reason, I don't care. We got motherfucking uh, 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 Michelle Obama, Condoleezza Rice. I bet you if Ivanka Trump come in the room. Oh, boy. It's a lot of <laughs> stairs. And we, and, and I feel, I'm King, King. I feel like we might have to end it on that. <laughs> yeah. Before we go. Before we, before we go. We won't drop this a couple weeks later. Before we go. You got me in trouble. Oh, my they God. Got, this they got you said a couple weeks. Oh. Before we go, before we go, due to the Halloween spirit, uh, uh, for those of you who don't know, this is being recorded a day after Halloween. 
Oh my God. Uh, before we go, <laughs> um, uh, if you are, have been a fan of this podcast, you know that we love a good list. So before we go, oh shit, our list for tonight is give me your top five horror movies. Go. Wow. Oh, my top five. So um quick question. Does the faculty count with Josh Hartnett? Josh Hartnett, yes. Uh, Elijah Wood. So uh yes. I love the faculty. Thrillers can horror uh, yeah, I'll yeah, yeah. say horror slash thriller. Okay. Because the, the psychological thrillers and shit, like, that, uh, I, I, I count them. I count, count them. I count them. So, okay. uh, faculty, not, not in any order. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, that's fine. So, I'm throwing the faculty in there. Um, Jeepers Creepers. That, mm. the fuck, that was when I was like, wow, that's a good one. I didn't walk with horror, but I was infatuated with it. And then when I saw that shit, I was like, I was so scared. I had to sleep with the lights on, but I couldn't stop watching <laughs> horror shit because it just fucked my mind up. Jeepers Creepers is a good one. Jeepers Creepers. Um... Oh, Mike Myers. Um, uh, which Halloween? Uh, so for me personally, I'm a Rob Zombie stand. So Ooh, that's a that good one. Actually. The- that was probably the scariest one. I, I right. thought so. It was very raunchy. I, Those are like, uh, like not raunchy, raw, very raw. The sh- raw, it was and shot raunchy raw because it was the it was the yeah, nice yeah, I guess so. with the murder. It, it, it was it, it was, was it was shot very like gritty, and that's that's I, my favorite part. Yeah. It made sense. The six eight nigga killing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, you, I, that's a good one. That's a good so one. so. Those are my favorites. But just um that. That genre, the Mike Myers. Other than the bullshit that recently came out. Jamie no, Curtis, we don't talk about that. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. We, we still fire. You still fire. We don't even mention that. We don't even I meant some Mills, Jamie Because those, those new ones are fucking god awful, but we didn't even mention that. Take me out on a date, ma. <laughs> Come on. You got two more, cuz. Got... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I'm getting in trouble after this episode. Oh, oh my God. So that's three. Ah. Fucking hereditary. Oh, wow. I forgot about that movie. Fuck. I just oh, watched it this last past wow. week. Wow. I forgot all about King. that movie. Oh. <laughs> That's a... Oh. <laughs> you and your funk... I got to get a growl going because you and your funk flex crowds are going it's crazy. It's a fox. <laughs> I, kill, I, I killed the fox from Cranford, you son of a bitch. I'm wearing it. Um, oh, my and God. And it was another one that just set my mind. That was like fucking... Um, I was scared of shit. Creepers. Not Jason, not Freddy. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ah, it's in my mind. I got one more. I'm thinking of it. Fuck, I just had it, King. Did a fuck, fuck shit. Well, look, like, who, who the man, he told, he established, we, talk, we talking, we talking, uh, uh, um, thriller, we talking, uh, I'll give you four if, if, if the fifth one, it's, if you want to come back to the fifth one. This might not count, but it count because we said thrillers. Um, Silence of the Lambs. That's because the uh, main. Character no, that counts. Was, that counts. That counts. Right. That counts. It, 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 it was so. Because Silence crazy. of the Lambs is 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 uh, horror Jace. Horror Jace. Horror Jace. Horror Jace. So uh, where, where you at with it? So wait, just to recap. So we got Jeepers Creepers. Uh, we got um, um, you just said Silence of the Lambs. Yep. We got uh, uh, the faculty. Yep. Yep. We got um, uh, 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 Mike Myers. Mike Halloween. Myers. That, that and um, um, the last one, the other thriller. Um, um, fuck, you just said it. What was the other thriller? Not faculty. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Fox. Oh. Uh, we're running back, and I think the fifth one. Fuck it. Right. Um, so, my five, I'm going to go no order. Yeah, no order. No order. I'm going to go uh, The Shining. Wow. Although man. The Shining is my favorite, but uh, The Shining. Uh, I'm going to go uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Really? Yeah. That, that, that first. So, so we're, do, we're doing um, sagas. We're just doing like the, the entire. Uh, uh, well, to be specific, I think it was the, the first Texas Chainsaw. I want to say the first one. Was that the one with Matthew McConaughey? That's the first, first one I saw. With the nigga with the yes. f- with the fucking yes. knee braces. Yes. I was like, this shit yes. is crazy. That one. That was that wild. One. That was wild. Um, that was wild. The first Friday the Those 13th. Those are two good picks. Or, no, sorry. Sorry. The first Elm Street. Sorry. The first Elm Street. The first Freddy. First Freddy? First Freddy. That's three. Uh, Exorcist. 
Exorcist. Really? Exorcist. The first Exorcist. That's a fucking good one. Um, four. Who is my fifth? Who the fuck is my fifth? Think, think, think good. Think good. Oh. I, not scary by joy. Gremlins. Nah, I can see that. I, can see I enjoy Gremlins. I can see that. I enjoy cause, Gremlins. Because the niggas turn up. That was, I think that was my first. I, see, I, I, think I, I think I said Gremlins because Gremlins is probably like my first horror movie. I can see I, that. As a kid. I can see that. Yeah. Was, so, Shining, Texas Chainsaw, Elm Street, Exorcist. And um, Gremlins. That's my five. That's a good five. Quick question before we go, King. I know it's Halloween time. Well, technically, it's weird. Close um, enough. As soon as Halloween ends, these weird ass motherfuckers turn into Thanksgiving stands. No, we're in Christmas. Already, right? Yeah. The COVID, COVID happened and niggas, it was no. Halloween, Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Thanksgiving don't matter no more. What the fuck? I thought I was the only we're, one. We're gonna touch that. We're gonna touch on next time. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you guys for coming today. <laughs> Wonderful episode. Appreciate you guys joining us. Thank you, King. Um, again, we, we if back. you're on YouTube, we back. please make thank sure you, you subscribe, brother. hit the bell so you're here anytime. We might go live. We might do some cool things on there. Um, if you're listening to Apple, uh, excuse me, if you listen to us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, thank you. Download, review, hit the ratings, and we're out. Be a fucking fan. Be a fucking fan.